Well, happy St. Patrick's Day from your good buddy, Head of Section. Uh, does it really feel like St. Patrick's Day? In fact, I would probably guess that most people are feeling the polar opposite of uh, feeling festive. Uh, yeah, we're kind of all doing our part this week. This is the, uh, we're all batting down the hatches and we're doing the self-quarantine thing. Uh, it's hit the area. It's hit the area where I live. Um, or at least the, you know, the wave that we expected is, is approaching. So everyone is doing their part. Uh, there's a lot of self-quarantining going on. Uh, my office is closed for the week. They told us it'll probably be two weeks. Uh, the schools here are closed for two weeks. Bars, restaurants, they're being, uh, either, either have a curfew or they're being closed altogether. Um, so I hope you and yours are safe. I hope you are doing the things that they've told us. Uh, avoid the large crowds, uh, wash your hands, etc. Um, and I will continue to try to do entertaining content to make the time go a little quicker. Um, even though I thought this would be a time of, of resting and relaxing and taking a break from everything. Um, in the spirit of that, I did a, a, a live stream last week. I hadn't done one in a while. Uh, I called it therapy session because I figured we all needed to kind of bellyache and get things out. Um, so, but, <laughs> uh, I got some kickback. I got a little flack for, for that and for basically, uh, my whole take on, on what's happening. Um, even though I, I don't even think I have a take necessarily, but, uh, I, I guess I'm, I haven't really been as serious or sounded as, as serious, uh, as people would like. Uh, so I had some things kind of kind of come back and get me a little bit. And I thought I would sort of talk about it um, because you know I'm I'm kind of of two minds on this, um, but I'll just here's one. Uh, I got a there was a post on AJB, which is a great website by the way. Uh, I do a lot more more reading than actually uh, posting anything because uh, there's some very smart people over there. Uh, but I read this one by number 24, who's obviously very, obviously very active on that site. I'm watching Being James Bond's therapy session. He wonders why there is so much fuss about Corona when tens of thousands die from the flu every year. What do they know that I don't know? A large part of the population are immune to the ordinary flu. Other than the few who have recovered from Corona, no one is immune to that epidemic. I don't know if I agree with that, but I'm going to shut up. Uh, if Corona spreads completely out of control and get much worse than the flu, uh, that's what he doesn't know. I enjoy being James Bond, but I think it should be said. Um, it's that last part that, that kind of made me scratch my head a little bit. Um, and there was a review I got on iTunes. My, I, I was checking on my podcast feed uh, this morning to make sure that the uh, Casino Royale had posted correctly, and I saw I had a new review. And it wasn't a good review. Um, this is from DS Creative. Used to be a fan. And he gave me three stars. Well, at least I got three stars. Uh, I was a big fan of the podcast until Joe Darlington's recent response to the postponement of the No Time to Die premiere until November 2020. I've listened to him argue and attempt to support his... I've listened to him argue and attempt to support his position against the postponement on both his and the Bond and Friends podcast. And to be frank, lost a lot of lost a tremendous amount of respect for him as someone who provides media content in the public realm. Specifically, although he tries to cover his tracks by offering an alleged understanding of the worldwide health risks associated with the release of such an anticipated film at a time of global health crisis, his thinly veiled argument inevitably comes back to the inconvenience it presents him and his girlfriend and their travel plans to see the premiere in Europe. Ruining his Bond experience by not getting to see the film first. The financial effects postponement may cause on a crooked, hedge fund-dominated industry. Quite frankly, he sounds like a spoiled kid whose birthday party was postponed. Sorry, Veruca, the Oompa Loompas are not for sale. That was pretty funny. Uh, I hope he makes up for his childish behavior in an apology podcast. Maybe the inevitable outbreak in the Garden State will wake him up. In the meantime, bravo to the gents across the pond who called for postponement. Um, boy, that's a lot to digest. And, uh, yeah, well, my argument that I, I am disappointed that I don't get to go and see. I, I kind of thought when I was doing the um, my initial thoughts on the postponement, I thought I was sharing in a lot of people's disappointment. 
and and saying yes i feel your pain on this and yes i'm devastated as well um so uh, was that wrong i guess i don't know um well listen i i'm of two minds of this first of all you know maybe i shouldn't even be talking about this at all uh you know i i i do a humble podcast on james bond uh i have no say in public policy of any kind i think that should be a given uh i have very humble numbers on my youtube views and my uh podcasts uh, I have a, I, I have, I am a medium-sized fish in a very small uh, community. Uh, but I, but like I said, I am sort of of two minds of this. First of all, uh, there's nothing worse than getting an apology where somebody says, you know, well, I'm sorry that you took something a certain way, or I'm sorry you misunderstood something I said. I mean, if you're going to apologize, then then mean it. Um, I'm also pretty disappointed, frankly. Uh, you, you know, I have had multi... I mean, everybody is talking about this, the state of affairs. Everyone is talking about it at great length. I've had personal conversations with with close friends, family. My brothers and I talk about this. My girlfriend and I talk about it. Her mother is terrified of it. Um, I've talked to people who, who who think this is the end of the world, and I've spoken to people who think this is like nothing but a but a big hoax um i speak to everyone and you know i've i've off, i've weighed in my opinions etc um first of all i don't think it's it's really my place i don't think it's the best use of this platform to add to the the global hysteria that is happening this is a serious thing i am not in any way and nor have i ever downplayed uh, what is actually happening? I have said in my personal conversations that that I have a hard time getting my head around certain parts of this. Yes, I have said that the the numbers of people who die every year of other illnesses far exceeds this. Uh, does that mean we don't take this seriously? No. I, like I said, I'm doing everything I can to 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 do my part. Um, you know, I think it's up to us to, if we can stamp this thing out, that we can. If we can save as many people as we can, that's our duty. I completely agree with that. Um, but again, I do have questions. I have questions about certain aspects of this. I had questions about the the logic of, of canceling one thing over here while letting this, you know, people congregate over there. Um, I think my healthy skepticism of how things were handled is valid um but but that's kind of not really even the point whether or not you think that my thoughts on this are valid that's kind of beside the point what bugs me is that again i had a personal conversation i have personal thoughts about this and i shared those thoughts with people in my little corner of the community um and i kind of feel like when when things like this review pop up I kind of feel like well first of all why didn't you talk to me about it I mean why didn't you come to me and say look I got concerns with what you're saying uh, I, I disagree with what you're saying and maybe you shouldn't be saying it um, I kind of feel like this, this sort of feels like tattletaling frankly for lack of a better way to say it um, so yeah I feel like I shared a part of myself and I, sh I shared my personal thoughts on this and, and this is sort of what happened. Like, people are not coming to me and talking to me about it. Rather, they want to kind of go around my back and, and you know, write rotten reviews. Um, again, I'm right here. I, I have people who communicate with me all the time over social media, Instagram, Facebook, and I do my best to respond, even if it's just thank you so much um, or, or, you know, larger conversations. But uh, this is something that, could have happened through a conversation. Um, I don't know why it needs to be said that, that I said something that was incorrect. Um, again, I'm not a public figure. I'm not making policy. Uh, God forbid. <laughs> so, like I said, I, I'm a little, yeah, I'm kind of butthurt, frankly, that uh, this is sort of how 
people are going about it. Um, but listen, that said, uh, if you felt like I was being cavalier about something that is very serious, I mean, people are getting sick, people are dying. This is this is absolutely true, and it's uh, nothing to be taken lightly. So if you were getting the impression, if I was giving the impression that it's not serious and that I was being cavalier about it, uh, I, I apologize. I really do. Um, you know, and I guess maybe it's just not my place to talk about this stuff. Um, you know, I mean, again, I, I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about anything like that. Uh, this was something that impacted our community first. Um, maybe that's not a fair way to say it, but I mean, again, you know, as far, I mean, movies now are starting to get postponed, but ours was, was way in the lead. Um, so yeah, it was a big deal and it was a big disappointment. I mean, I said, you know, I've been telling people, I said, you know, it was weird for me when it happened. You know, I, I was with my girlfriend, you know, about a week ago and we were talking about the, the movie being postponed. And I said that I was really concerned about the movie and she kind of went like, all right, wait, hang on a second. You're concerned, like, 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 this is not a person, like, and I, and I said, you know, you're right. I said, but you have to understand, like, my brain has sort of been, like, of, of one, one focus. Um, I've been working round the clock to, to do content, to do reviews, to do interviews, um, to kind of keep people excited for the new film. So when it got postponed, I mean, I literally just felt like the rug got pulled out. And I kind of just didn't even know what to focus on. I mean, I, I literally didn't know what to what to think about. Um, you know, and, and honestly, I mean, and my girlfriend will tell you, I work pretty hard to to do these videos. I mean, and I, I only just recently announced that I was on Patreon. So, I mean, honestly, all this time I do it and I don't ask for anything in return. So, you know, so, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that, you know, I said, I said something that was incorrect and... That's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna do this, huh? That's how it's gonna be. Like I say, one thing you don't like, and and that's it. Um, well, you know, again, it is what it is. Uh, and I and I think I've said my piece at this point. Um, like I said, and I and I I am sincerely saying that you know I am sorry if if people were feeling, you know, especially if this is something that has affected you on a personal level. You know, I don't want to come across that it's not a big deal or whatever. Um, but like I said, I just, I have bigger questions and I'm allowed to have those thoughts. Um, if you don't want me to share those with you, okay, we can do it that way too. Um, you know, but again, I, I, I love the community that I'm in and, and, um, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. So, uh, we'll get through this. We're going to get through this. Um, we're tougher than this. Um, two weeks at home to collect ourselves and, and have a little, little, little us time. It, things could be worse than that, you know, so we'll, we will get through it. And I, again, I hope you and your families are all safe and, uh, I hope none of us are negatively affected by this. And, um, and again, we'll get through it. And, uh, one way or another, we got a movie coming out soon and, uh, I'm looking forward to it no, no matter how it comes or, or whatever. Um, so let's, let's keep going forward. All right. I'm your good buddy, head of section, make the best of your St. Patrick's day, crack open a beer tonight, relax, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Take it easy.